Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to long range, <coughs> excuse me, long range weather forecast discussion for December 24th through January 7th. For D December 24th, <coughs> excuse me, to December 28th, the flow will remain amplified uh, with the ridge in the west, trough in the east something like this and we still have above normal heights here across the north atlantic greenland area and a trough here stretching from um western russia down into um the eastern pacific so the this is how the pattern is forecast to be um we will have a series of pacific systems that will impact the flow downstream and that will bring a return of precipitation from the west with rain and mountain snows continuing into next week. So we see that's the first system right here. And we go in further. And then we have another system moving into the west. So um, it'll remain active across that region. Now, um, considering the east, the potential for the east, we have here. Uh, a storm system deepening across the Great Lakes will lift northeast where here's a trailing front and this will cause um, bring a threat of heavier rainfall Thursday through Friday so now we'll go to Thursday here's Thursday now we have like the colder air moving in there's a change to snow here and then we go into Friday and then it's turning to snow here across portions of the Northeast Middle Atlantic. We have to see how, if this verifies. Also, there is a tendency for a frontal wave to form along this front. And here's the, the European shows that. Here's a cold Arctic high that'll be sinking south. And um, it depends on the strength of the location. It looks like it's more inland now. So it'll probably be mostly a rain event. And then... Um, We'll see how, how this works out later on in the period. Um, the front will cause a stream of Gulf moisture, and this compounded with uh, snow cover in the Northeast, and that will be monitored for potential flooding threat. And then we'll have lake effect snows that will be current on the backside of the system from the Ohio Valley, the Appalachians, and the Northeast. Go look now at the period for December 20, uh, 29th to January 2nd. And the pattern de-amplifies with a trough in the west. Heights remain below normal across the Bering Sea and parts of the East Pacific. And we have a ridge that remains over the North Atlantic into Canada. You see it right here. We also have uh, a tendency for a troughingness in the east. As we go to the second, you know, um, GFS has a broad trough below normal heights across much of the country. Its ensembles has it more to the west. And the European ensemble has it more across all the country also. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for much of the country here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of four to six degrees below normal and above normal temperatures are forecast for this region here and anomalies of four to six degrees above normal are forecast for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation for this region here probability of occurrence is uh, 35 percent and then we have above normal precipitation forecast for this area here Probability of occurrence is 40%. Now the period for January 3rd to the 7th. Now, um, the overall pattern remains pretty much the same across upstream here and here. But um, there are differences in this trough location. As uh, you can see here, the, the GFS keeps it across much of the country, a broad cyclone of flow. Its ensembles has it again more to the west. The European has it more now to the east. And then we look at the NAEFS more to the west. But above normal heights remain across this area. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting. I think I showed you the wrong map. Okay. Um, 
forecasting below normal temperatures here and I'm forecasting anomalies will be near six degrees below normal above normal temperatures of forecast here with the anomalies of four six degrees below normal for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation for the northwest and for much of the area east of the Mississippi River and the probability of occurrence is 40 percent and to correct what I said back here for the first period this would be for December 29th to January 2nd expecting below normal temperatures here and for along the east and I'm forecasting anomalies near six degrees would be about um four to six degrees below normal and we have above normal temperatures for much of this area here with anomalies of four six degrees above normal so that's the long range weather forecast discussion for december 24th through january 7th thanks for coming to jim Monley's world of weather and have a good day